Are you ready for some sports? Maybe. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time. We hope you dressed appropriately. Jack straps and sports bras. For every... Fuck. Get ready. It's time for Victory Island's new new sport. Brought to you by the bald-headed black man. The one that hates that nickname sexual chocolate. Rub his head and make a wish. What can I say? It's time for me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I want to give my shout outs to my piece because I've been ignoring you guys. Periscope, Twitter, or Facebook. Big ol' live life got me. Hey, got you guys. You know, hey, look, I've been off the grid for a couple of weeks. Needed that time, but we're back with the uh, with the wrath. Hey, check it out, Mar. Um, there was no way in hell I was going to sit up here and try to wrap up two weeks of being off with all the sports with the time that we had. We're limited on time, so I, I wanted to kind of make sure that I leave one topic out and. I'm going to do my best to stay away from it because I think it's being regurgitated too often. So if you're looking for me to talk about the politics of it, the politics of the sports, and not just the NFL, it's not here. I believe in inclusion. So as far as I'm concerned, you guys go to another channel, hit your major platform so they can sit back and watch all the bitch fighting going back and forth. But for the most part, I... I do believe that there are multiple voices in all that we do, and leave it at that right now. All right, Mario, while you're doing your transition, man, I just want to let you know, some people know that, hey, cool hooking up with you guys, Deborah Hader, Michelle, Niels, Miko, a lot of conversation about where people are going this fall. She'll be really cool. And I'm just going to keep going with my bike treks. I know most people are saying, hey, where's the bike treks? I said, there are, there are some in the can. I just haven't been able to process them. That'll be my new new sports journey to let you know the localization of what I do on my treks. But now to come to what I think is the story of the day. Now, I'm just saying this. The Hurt Hotel is back. You know, when I say the Hurt Hotel, oh. <laughs> okay, the Hurt Hotel is there's pain and gain. You know, most of the time it's pain. But we have an official new member because most of the time I'm going to the injuries, which I'm going to go to. You are not just physically injured. Sometimes your common sense takes a hit. And when I sit here and look at this subject that's coming up now, I just got to say the Miami Dolphins. Cutter, Cutler, you don't have to worry about you being the topic of the year right now, <laughs> right now. The man of the hours, Chris Forster, because I simply call this sniff and snort, <laughs> sniff and snort. So I'm going to keep it real only because what you got cut, snorting, uh, coke. Okay, wait, wait a minute. On video. <laughs> wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, OK, let me just tell you this. Let me just say this. Miami Dolphins coach resigns after video appears to show him snorting cocaine. Chris Forrester was in the second year of his second tour of duty with the uh, Dolphins. In the video, the man widely identified as Forrester says, hey, baby, miss you. <laughs> Take it about you. He's married now. I just want you to know. And he ain't talking to his wife. How about me going into a meeting and doing this before I go? The man then snorts a line of the white powder using a rolled up $20 bill. Now, when it first came out, this was supposed, this was reported because they needed to have it verified. You know, they, they want to make sure it's clear and free. So, now Mario, I'm just going to say this. Is the issue that he's a Dolphins coach? The issue that his, he is a married man? The, or the issue that he had a $20 bill while he was smoking, uh, snorting? Or is the issue that really... People are aware that he does this. You know, drugs are different. I'm just saying. All drugs are different. Different effects, different long-term effects. Marijuana versus cocaine versus alcohol. There's a difference. Yes, big, There's big, a difference big, versus big, coffee. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's a difference. Yeah. Um, All right, now we'll... You know, the problem is the, the ability of certain drugs to alter... Your conscious, they all affect your conscious mentally. Or common sense, you're saying. But sometimes in ways you want 
Man, look. In other ways, ways you don't, like with marijuana versus, say, cocaine or alcohol. So, you know, for me, you know, it's a it's a, it's a bad it's a bad fit. It's okay, wait a, bad, a minute. It's a bad drug. <laughs> wait a minute. It's a wait bad a minute. Drug. And I'm trying not to be. I'm trying not to wait be. I'm trying to just say. And even as a physician, some you get to know. I mean, there are everything's a co- coffee's a drug, okay? But there's yeah. good drugs and bad drugs, and yeah. some drugs certainly certain things are worse. And so cocaine is used as a problem, well, I'm, because its ability to alter your priorities, oh yeah, and affect you in a negative way. Well, I'm gonna have to warn you also, man. I'm, I'm gonna slowly be moving away from morning coffee to morning smoothie. Just want to give you a heads up, dude. Just letting you know. Bravo! <laughs> All right, just let you know. Let's see if do that. You yeah, got. watch this morning smoothies. Morning smoothies. Smoothie. Okay, look, Mart. The part that's getting me is this: he's at the job. Don't roll up yet. No, not yet. Not yet, because it's a catch to this. He's at the job. He's at. He's on the facility on the yeah, property. That's, that, that's so, another thing. <laughs> so wait a minute. That's a big deal. Right. Big deal. But I want to show you guys the motivation. And what's more important to me is that you have to identify, well, who was he talking to as he's talking into the video? Because everybody wants to know who's across the desk. Well, let's go take so, a look. So his quote, you quoted him as saying, this is what he, supposedly this is what you quoted. You said, in the video, the man widely identified as Forrester says, and I quote, hey, baby, miss you, thinking about you. How about me going into hey, a meeting and doing this before I go? That's what he said. Yes. In the video before he started. So the person because right, that's since it's foreplay. All right. So so the person who uploaded or posted the video because they they basically were going, Well, wait a minute. And let's go roll up so we can see who's Hey Baby. <laughs> that's Hey Baby. <laughs> All right. So I just want to know Yeah, okay. Hey Baby is I believe her name is Kijuana. Kijuana Nish. Okay, Kijuana Nish is the one who posted the video. Now, let me say this. There are people hating on her because she did this. So is there, is there, is there some kind, let me, let me just say this. Did she do the right thing by saying, whoa, wait a minute. There's a bigger, there's a bigger impact here. Hey, baby, and you doing this? Oh, she's the same old, same old. Well, wait a minute. Oh, don't, wait a minute. Give her the benefit of the doubt. No. Do not let the picture fool you. No. no <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, wait a minute. Are you hating no on it? Okay. Yes. Why? You tell me why. I've been through this shit before. <laughs> Kiss and tell, blackmail, all that shit. It's, wait. It's not cool. So, wait a minute. It's not cool. Let me say this. Oh, y'all say. do that. So, I didn't do that shit. Okay. Should he? Should this be a bigger picture? Because can he perform his job she doing this? She had a good this? wax job. She had a good wax <laughs> wait, job. Wait a minute. Wait, leave it alone, man. Because you want to. No, he can't perform his job doing either one of them. <laughs> right. Because so, he looks like so, he's as dangerous so, as the So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just say. Should G, would it be better or would it be? Hey, look, you guys. Would it have been best for her to go, I see nothing, I hear nothing, I say nothing? Would that have been the best thing to do? I'm just putting it on the table for you, Mario. Best thing. I don't thing. know. There's damage control. <laughs> no, just no, man. Tell them you're going in a rehab. <laughs> no, it's, man. It's the standard for this. Wait a minute. Why not? The standard okay. is tell you're entering Wait. rehab to get off of cocaine and black women that wear shit like this. <laughs> so you're not even concerned about the wife. Well, that's what he tells her, too. He goes in rehab. Wait a minute. To, to detox off of both these things. Wait a minute. Let me say something right now. That's what they do today. They Wait go, a minute. See, they go see, to Malibu see, to rehab. Watch this. Watch this. See, Wonderful I'm gonna croissants. You, I'm going to put, put him in this Wonderful position. Wonderful croissants. Mario's dating this absolutely powerful woman on the, on the opposite side. And then all of a sudden, she is the one saying, I'm in the video with the guy who's snorting cocaine. And he says, hey, baby, I miss you. And you're the husband. You get pissed off, but they're cocaine. They're Wait cocaine users. That's infidelity is gonna come with that. Oh, okay. So let me try to figure out. Cocaine users are gonna be subject to excesses. Co- sexual excesses are gonna be common. Okay. So they're gonna be prone to that. Is it possible that his family and people around him already know that he's a user? Possible. Very possible. Yes. Okay. 
It's hard to hide, isn't it? Some, well. He can be. More money, more power. Depends how long he is. Yeah. I'm looking at Kiwana. <laughs> <laughs> see, see this what I'm saying, dude. I'm just saying. You got a, you you got got a, a great wax job. Right, <laughs> let me just say this. He is the new member in the Hurt Hotel. This is not physical damage as much as it is psychological damage. And that story to me was the one that got me because of the boldness of it, dude. Just think about it. I was guys to wait, ladies out there to weigh in on this. <laughs> you wait a minute. What's more important? I want to know what's Can, more. Candace Renee Rice. No, 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 no. No, see, this is about going. What's the number <laughs> one sorry. issue here? And right now, the public may be going. You should have kept your mouth shut. They're talking to her. So, what does that tell you? If that's She's, the number one issue. Yeah. What does that tell you? Is that uh, they. Giving of cocaine use. Right. Yeah. And yeah, look, look, I'm just. Amongst white people. I'm not, yeah, let me just say this. I believe everybody's. Not the same about I, I, black people. Right. I'm going to say this. It's easy to be on the couch. It's easy to turn around and have an opinion. But let it be a son, daughter, a relative, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Mm. I guarantee your, your opinion will change. So I always put myself in the position of just don't have an opinion because you it's comfortable to be what be, what's best. Guaranteed. It's, it's, Guaranteed. it's unbelievable, man. So it, Mario already is on the side. He says, you know, should get, keep your mouth shut. Just let him do his thing, right? Keep your legs crossed. See, he's side. Notice what he's doing. He's jumping on her. Keep your zipper stuck. <laughs> Wait, look. I'm saying, here's the thing I'm saying. I say, got a bunch of these. I got an exit question. An uh, exit question on this particular story. Who do you think seeked out whom first? Oh, her. I think he sought no. her out. Thank you. I do too. Well, I hit on her. She said, let me take a ride. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying. So we're going to learn more if they do the follow-up. But, of course, the Dolphins, he's already had to, uh, you know, he's already out anyway. So he's going to kill the story and then do his thing. All right, I'm going to go over to the NFL because I know everybody wants to know um, – about their fantasy sports, but I ain't going to talk about fantasy sports. I'm going to talk about what we think is the biggest injury impacts to teams and where it may mean their competitive playoff opportunities. I'm going to start off with uh, J.J. Watt, Houston Texans, broken leg. How big is this for the Texans, especially since Deshaun Watson I it's like, like a He's comer. A good guy. Yeah, and, and let me just say, I'm gonna give props to. Damn. Let me give props to Deshaun. I keep hearing his coach say this before he was drafted. He kept saying, "You guys just don't know how good he is." And watching him on Houston, it's a game changer. In his first few games, basically scoring and his impact. I just want to give props straight out to that. Now, with that being said. Houston also had an injury was I, be, I believe merciless was also injured so they have a couple of um, what they call uh, power hitters that on the sideline but JJ Watt is big can Houston get to the playoffs without Watt yeah I know your philosophy you always believe you should be able to still get there without it you know there's some major let's, things yes let's just say JJ Watt <laughs> and their number one linebacker, both are out. Come yes. on now, those are those. Okay, it's those always are my- yes because people can step up. That's the whole point. I believe in that, so that the person who's number two <laughs> should be close to the ability of the number one. Right, maybe lacking in some ways that you can adjust to. Maybe they're not as good at pass coverage, so you adjust over here a little bit too. Right, when you put them in, but they might have actually been better at the run or something. Typically on the NFL team, the number two person should be of solid quality. They just but but, be. but they're, not, they're not even remotely close to these guys. J.J. Watt has had an yeah. impact that's like Lawrence Taylor-ish. So other people so you, now get to step up yeah. and you still proceed toward your on your Right. Team. And no, I, I believe that they can come in and do so. Uh, to me, it's like running. There, you can pr- The guy can practice all the time, but this guy's naturally faster. So no matter how much you practice... He's just naturally faster. Oh, yeah. So and the, and the and the and the Patriots went four and one with Brady out. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. But see, they and they haven't had to get a challenge where they got lucky with him by being out at the beginning of the games, at the beginning of the season. But going into the playoffs and he's out of it, 
There, I just there's no quarterback on their team. Yes, they just have people just have to step, step up. up. Yeah. So the impact is will can they overcome it? So here's my thing. You already believe Houston with uh, Deshaun Watson can make up the difference because this quarterback play is pretty good. Well, they can. The question is, will they? they give I, up? There's always a can in there because right. that has to do with individual efforts, right. all of that, right. how hard they work, right. studying their stuff, all yeah. of that. Yeah. Okay. Now let me go to another one. Odell Beckham. Ankle. It looks bad. Looks like it's worse because of what happened. Giants are already zipped. There were zero and four and uh, uh, zero wins. And then the Chargers got their first win because there were zip teams going against each other. So somebody's going to get their win. So the Chargers win. Um, Odell Beckham. It would have made no difference if they were already struggling. You know, winless team would make no difference. This seems, again, this is another one. I mean, I get it. They both kind of spell disaster, both of these, because they're key players. But again, I guess I go back to the whole team thing. And like you just said, so the New York Giants had significant problems with yes. Beckham in there. So it makes no So that has to change. Right. See, my thing is that what's more important, his individual contribution or the fact that you had that overall issue. Right. I think because you have the overall issue. So now when you, if you were actually to correct that, right. then you have a team that would probably police would perform adequately. Right. But at least cause should come up to those situations where you miss that player. Right. But that's a different thing than just falling apart. He's 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 a he's such a difference maker in what he does, and because of the style of play. Yes, you can get somebody who's going to be adequate and come up. I just think they have to they have to look in other areas to try to see reinforce that's what where they're failing. Right. right. Like now I say Belichick seems to do it effortlessly. Right. Even though they're not super right, like they still lose, right? right. Yeah. And you can see the weakness. Right. But overall, this overall team thing, he right. seems to manage. To squeak out a higher level and, of consistency. And we have to admit, admit this. We can always t- talk about the players, but you and I both know this. You can't train people, all coaches, to be like Belichick. No, no, there's a culture thing. So there's going to be a difference. That would be like telling indie people to be like us in, in video, wouldn't it be? Yeah. They, they'd yeah, have yeah, a yeah. hard time. Because the nature of how we approach yeah, because we approach it. Uh, philosophically, we approach it a different way. We're not trying to negotiate it from... Here, look at the. It would be hard. Yeah, it's not the same. The only reason why I'm saying that is too because it's one thing to have a unique coach. It's another thing to have a um, probably the best quarterback all time, and now the the winning is coach all time at the same time. You can lose either one of those. Well, that's because and right, make but the difference. I'm saying the culture of the in leadership in, in order, that's why some organizations seem to be so much better. Right. That's exactly the kinds of reasons right. people don't want to. Yeah. I know the better attention to detail. Right. Yeah, no, I got, I got you. And and let me say this: here's the other thing that's going to be looked at. You know, Odell was coming off him being injured, and the ankle injury, and they're going to question. It's going to be two questions: one, come back too soon, or is he injury prone? And it's going to be interesting moving forward. So my guess is, if it's the same ankle, and I haven't verified it yet, if it is, he's out for the season. They want total rehab because a lot of money is put into his pocket. Now, while that's happening, they still got to deal with the fact that they're still winless, which is shocking to me. I hate to. I'm not yeah. going. I'm, I'm just shocked that the Giants are no. winless right now. Okay, so hey, maybe there's a bounce back to get some um, credibility here and there, but it doesn't look good. And for the rest of everybody else, the New York haters, I know you guys are having a, a, a good time with this. All right. Uh, of course. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, you're going to go there. Hey, look, um, I'm just going to get to what I call a couple of teams. You can keep rolling up. Those are just uh, what they call reference pictures. I'm going to get to what I call two teams that loss. And which one? Is it just a loss and not a big deal versus it's a loss because there's, there's a backstory to them losing and it may be significant because as all teams, you know, you never know. So recently, we just saw what we call a team. Pittsburgh Steelers was rated at one time number two or three to win the Super Bowl. They just lost to the Jaguars, 30 to nine. Now, I'm going to compare that. We're going to take each team. 
Is there some? Is that just a loss taken in stride because you always run into those losses? Or compared to the Dallas Cowboys who have yet to overcome Packer mania and losing 35 to 31, and they're going to question, of course, the coach's call on continuously running Ezekiel Elliott because they could have ran out the clock to give less time for Aaron Rodgers, who did his famous comeback on the Cowboys routine. So one is a close loss, but it, they are, uh, the Dallas Cowboys are two and three. They're not, they lost three games total last year. Pittsburgh is running through some problems because, of course, Antonio is not being happy because, you know, he's throwing water coolers. Big Ben is putting out what they call possibly sarcastic things that, you know, maybe he should retire, questioning stuff. It looks like there's some disarray. Now, you put that al along with the backstory of what's happening with the NFL with the politics involved. And these a teams, team that seems to be affected by that. Well, did you hear Jerry Jones' quote today? No. Anybody takes kneeling on this team, they're out. They don't play. Which means money is affecting. Okay. Now, here, no, this is what, here, here, here we go. They say when the money gets to play significantly in this. You have to take a stand. Players earn you money, but only if the seats are filled. And I bet you, because this would be a, a negotiation issue, mm -hmm. he may be able to bench you and still have to pay you full everything. Yeah. So if that's the way it looks, see, my thing is that they're going to force the players to cause some kind of a... Isn't this... They're going to force it. Isn't this no different than yeah. a union fight? Um, well, totally. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, like who's, saying, who's going to do right. this? But, but, who's going to cave in first? Because now that the politics, which I said I was going to get into details, which I'm not, has spilled over into other sports, the NBA, and probably can go even further. Oh, it's going further. It's going to go further. So there's going to be more pushback. Yes. And so at and this point, the numbers point, are also a little different. Right. So let me just say this. This reminds me of the movie Gladiator with right. Joaquin Phoenix. He says, the mob is the fans. <laughs> if the mob goes buck wild, you have to go in their direction. Who's really controlling the energy of this? Because we're talking about billionaire owners, political billionaires who are taking advantage of this. And using the culture and the platform of what they sit back and say, we don't want to hear why you're disrespecting for whatever reason. And then the players themselves, who are people not going to feel sorry for, are going to say, hey, you guys are millionaires. You can afford to. So my question is, people in corporate America don't do this that are in non-sporting events. Nobody's kneeling anyway. Plus, they don't play the music. Which I had asked you before, I said, well, how come they don't play the, you know, the anthem <laughs> throughout corporate America, period? You come into work one day, <laughs> every Monday, every, morning. every Monday, I'll, every I'll, make it, I'll make it once a week. And they said, you, wherever you are at the time, you need to stop. Not a big, not a big issue. But if you're part of a group that feels like that, that flag doesn't totally represent the type of treatment I believe I should get. Do you take a stand or do we just leave it up to the, uh, the athletes to represent all, all groups of people? It's unfair to put them to have to carry the weight of all people. <laughs> so here's my question. How long is this going? Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. It's right. going to be a big deal. Right. It's it's a, coming to it, it, it is. And a, even if you think it's over. Right. It ain't over. It ain't over. This is going for a it while. Ain't, this is one of those things where it's a societal change of monument, monumental proportions. They just don't realize it yet. Yeah, I know. Because it's a coming to a head of a long, long, long grievances. So it's, yeah. it's way more complex than it appears on the surface. Okay. So it will happen. Exit question. Who's in a more dire straits? The culture of Pittsburgh, who is still atop in their division, but they lost terribly. Or Cowboys, who already got three losses, they're under 500. 
Which team do you believe says, oh, this is easy to overcome? Who's the best? You had to put your money on to get. Oh, they'll make the, to the playoffs. And Dallas see, will still Dallas. make the necessary adjustments. They have the ability to and still have looked reasonable in some of their losses. Right. So there are certain aspects of the team that are strong. Yeah. So, But Pittsburgh, no. And they, like I said, for some reason, I suspect they have more internal dissension. Yes, they do. On Pittsburgh than they do on yes, other they do. teams. Yes, they do. That's the more one. More racial dissension. It, there is dissension. But I do believe with Jerry Jones doing what he said today, well, he's it's going, it's going to start. It's going to start it something. It was there, and he makes it worse. Yes. Look at the Cowboys first to see who does what. Let's see. If I had to galvanize around a team, I would say I could see Pittsburgh overcome. Well, it. players are going to have to meet across the league. They're going to have to get together, fly out, and have their own. This is what would occur in the old days. Yeah. Have meetings and then draw their line to who's going to do what. Yeah. Same yeah. thing about the NBA. Yeah. They're going to have meetings and talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look. They're going I to just, have it. I just know when a team starts winning, even when you, you – you know what's the bad thing about it? Imagine you're booing for your team, and they start having a winning streak that's just unbelievable. <laughs> and you go – well, the more they win, the more I hate them. Or is it now that they're winning? You know, Ooh. having been there in the past, that's what happened. Yes. Winning cure, cures a lot of ills. It does, but... Not all. But not all. Right. And so there'll be those issues at the stadium. Gotcha. As long as they let the anthem be there, it's going to grow as an issue. It will continue. Until they remove the anthems. Right. Or stop the players. And yeah. I don't think they can stop the players. Players, no. So I think they're going to remove the anthem, is what right. I've been saying, right. from sporting events. Yeah. They shouldn't just remove from showing it. Right. They should just remove from playing it. That's my new new sports, man. I'm out of here, man. Didn't want to extend too long. It was cool. That's the Dallas new new sports. Written, directed by the ball headed black man. Just appropriately, the Dallas fan base view of sports, a recurring segment. The Morning Coffee with Mario Show. Catch you here every, every week. Enjoy. Remember to dress appropriately for the sport.